In this video I want to take a few minutes to show you some of the main features of the 3ds Max version of Switcher. Switcher is a plugin that helps users, like myself, use both 3ds Max and Maya to create animations. If you've ever tried to use both 3ds Max and Maya, one of the biggest hurdles is perhaps getting comfortable with the two different means of selecting objects and navigating your viewports. Well all that is a lot easier now with Switcher. Let me show you. So as you can see I have both 3ds Max and Maya open. The first thing I want to do is kind of show you some of the navigation modes within Maya and how we've mimicked that in Max. So uh, the first thing is just orbiting your scene so you can just do that very easily in Maya by holding down the Alt plus left mouse button. In Max we've done the exact same thing so Alt plus left mouse button will let you orbit. It works uh, pretty much identical to how it works in Maya. And then uh, and also in Maya you can uh, pan around your scene by holding Alt plus middle mouse button. Uh, works exactly the same in Max now. Alt plus middle mouse button will pan. And finally, if you want to zoom in, uh, there's two ways of doing that in Maya. You can use the Alt plus left plus middle mouse button. So here I'm just zooming in by uh, moving my mouse, having the two buttons pressed down in the left to right direction. So left will zoom out while right will zoom in. So in Max, exactly the same way. And finally, in Maya, if you want to zoom in, you can also do that by holding down Alt plus right mouse button. So there's basically two modes of doing that with the keyboard and mouse. That can be set up in Max, but by default, that's not how it's set up. You can change the options to mimic that. Uh, if you prefer the, the just the right alone, uh, feel free to change the options, which I'll go over in just a few minutes. So because your keyboard and mouse set setup is uh, not only dependent on your navigation, but also your selection modes, um, we've also changed that. So in Maya, if you wanted to, for instance, I'll zoom in on these guys here. And if I wanted to uh, select an object, it's very easy. You just select. And if you wanted to add to your selection, you can hold down Control plus Shift. So I'm just adding these two objects. And if you wanted to subtract from your selection or minus something from your selection, you just hold down Control, minus things out of your selection. So finally, if I want to remove that, I can easily do that just like that. And then one other thing is the ability to toggle your selection. So for instance, if I have uh, this ring here and then I hold down the shift key I can toggle it to basically replace that selection with the two other objects that was within that marquee. So let me jump into Max and show you what we've done there. Of course if you've been using Max for a while you're going to be comfortable with its means of selecting. In this instance because like I said the viewport navigation kind of conflicts with how things are selected we changed it to mimic how Maya works exactly with selection as well. So here I can basically select an object like I normally would, but if I wanted to add to my selection, I would hold down Control plus Shift, and I would just add to it. You'll notice that the cursor actually shows a little plus sign next to it. Uh, that's basically indicating you're in the Add Selection mode. If I was to just hold down Control, you'll see that it switches to this minus uh, mode, and then Shift will display the actual toggle. So Control Shift is Add, minus is Control, and then Shift is actually just Toggle. So here if I just marquee, you'll see a toggle there. And then if I wanted to remove anything, I can just hold down control and that does that. So that's pretty much it with the navigation and selecting. There's a couple other things worth noting. I've configured my default hockey setup to mimic some of the methods of basically framing and selecting or zooming in on an object. Uh, normally if you select an object, you can uh, zoom in on it by clicking some of the buttons on the bottom right here. Uh, in Maya, the default hockey for that is F. So if I select an object and press F, it'll zoom in on that. Um, so I'm going to press A to zoom out and then F to zoom in again. So uh, those modes of, or those actual operations and commands in 3ds Max are existent. You just have to change the default hotkeys um, within the customized user interface and just change the hotkeys uh, to mimic those uh, same hotkey setups. But what is added additionally within Switcher is the ability to activate those modes by actually going in and just hovering your cursor over the viewport itself. So here, I have maybe my right view highlighted. You can notice that by seeing the yellow border around that viewport. Um, but if I wanted to actually zoom in on that object within my perspective view, I can do that by just hitting the F key without actually having to activate the view. So I can do that instantly like that. So just by switching to each one of these views, I can activate them without actually clicking or doing anything with my mouse. I'm just moving my mouse cursor over it and it just automatically focuses that viewport and switches to it. So now I can also use basically any operation and not have to worry about focusing my viewport. So normally, if I wanted to maximize my top view, you would actually have to go over there and actually either left click it or um, middle click the, uh, the little label there or middle click anywhere in here and actually activate it before you can perform the operation. So now that's no longer the case. You can just press A, 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 A. Um, of course, I remember I just changed my hotkey configuration, but 
um, by pressing those keys to zoom out, I was able to do that instantly without having to click first. So that's sort of uh, another option you have available. And it's not just for framing, you can also use that same scheme to maximize your viewport. If you have it set up using the spacebar like you would in Ma Maya, then it would work exactly the same. So if I go back into Max, and you can see I'm just sw switching to different viewports uh, and maximizing in and out of them by just moving my mouse and, and triggering the hotkey. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it with the default configuration. I just want to take a few minutes to show you.